This problem is all about verifying the square root of 5, whole number 5 over 24 equal to 5 times the square root of 5 all over 24 and that of this. So now, let's work it out. Now we're asked to verify that the square root of 5 whole number 5 all over 24 is equal to 5 times the square root of 5 all over 24. So how to prove this is that this expression on the left hand side, this, this value that is inside here is a mixed fraction. It's a mixed fraction. And a mixed fraction, now what we're going to do is if you have 5 whole number 5 all over 24, this is the same thing as saying. 5 times 24 plus 5 divided by 24. So 5 times 24 will give you 120 plus 5 over 24. This will give you 125 over 24. Now, we now need to plug this into the square root. So now we now have. Now we want to prove first the left hand side of the equation. So the left hand side of the equation is equal to the square root of 5 whole number 5 over 24, which is the same thing as 125 all over 24 square root. This is the same thing as saying the square root of 125 all over the square root of 24. Because the sword rule, if you have the square root of m all over m, is the same thing as the square root of m all over the square root of m. So that means, so but let's, let me erase this. And again, and again, the, when you look at the numerator, the numerator is, you can be, also be expressed in this form, the square root of 25 times 5. No, 5 times 25 will give you 125, all over the square root of 24. So this expression is also the same thing as saying the square root of 25 times the square root of 5. Because according to the sword rule, if you have the square root of m times n, is the same thing as saying this square root of m times the square root of n. is sword rule. So this is all over 24. So the square root of 25 is 5 times the square root of 5 divided by divided by the square root of 24. So now let's also come apply the rule that the square root of m divided by the square root of m is the same thing as the square root of m all over the square root. The same thing as the square root of m all over m. So well, let me clean this. So now we're going to apply that rule there. So applying that rule, you now have here is 5. Now this will now be the square root of 5 all over 24. So this is equal to the left hand side. So it now proves that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Now there was something I did that gets some people confused. I didn't mean to make people confused. Well, let, let me see. If you have mixed fraction, 5 
whole number 5 all over 24 is the same thing as saying 5 plus 5 all over 24 is the same thing there is no difference if you do it like this if let me say i want to make the denominators the same i will have, have 5 times 24 divided by 24 plus 5 all over 24 5 times 24 will give me 120 all over 24 plus 5 all over 24. So this will still give me 125 all over 24. Now, if you want to do like for mixed fraction, the way they do mixed fraction, if you now say 24 times 5, which is that is 5 times 24 plus 5 divided by 24, this will still give you the same value. It's just like when you say 1 whole number 1 over 2, it's the same thing as saying 1 plus 1 all over 2, which is 1 plus 0 0.5, which is 1.5. And this will still give you 1.5. So that is it. And this is the same thing as saying 3 all over 2. And when you look critically again, if you look at it like this too, if you say 1, 1 all over 2 is 1 plus 1 all over 2, you are not wrong. It's the same thing as saying 1 is the same thing as 2 over 2 plus 1 all over 2. So this one will give you 3 over 2. Just the same thing. So now let's go back to, let's go to the next question. The next one was the square root of 4 whole number, 4 all over 15 is equal to 4 times the square root of 4 all over 15. Now, this is a mix. The mixed fraction, which is the same thing as saying, I can, now let me say, okay, let's prove the left hand side, which is square root of 4 whole number 4 all over 15. Now, this whole thing is the same thing as saying 4 times, four time, 15 times 4 plus 4 divided by what? 15. You now have 4 times 15 is 60 plus 4. That is 64 all over 15. So, the left hand side will still be equal to, now, that's 60, that is the square root of 64 all over 15. So, um, 64 is the same thing as 16 times 4 all over 15. And this is the same thing as saying, according to, um, according to sod rule, if you have if you have something like this, the square root of m all over m is the same thing as the square root of m all over the square root of m. So, applying that rule, you have the square root of sixteen times four divided by fifteen. Now, and there is also a rule that the square root of m times n is equal to the square root of m times the square root of n. So that means you have the square root of 16, applying that rule, you have six, times the square root of 4 all over 15. So the square root of 16 is 4. Square root of 4 divided by square root of so, Now, applying this rule now, you also have 4 square root of 4 all over 15. So this is the same thing as the left hand side of the equation. So that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching to the end. Have a nice day.
So, und das ist es.